glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you so very much for this new day, for your goodness, your mercy, your grace, your love and kindness that's better than life. Nobody like you. You are wonderful. You are the creator of the universe. Your words spoke the world into existence. You framed the world with your words. How great and how mighty and how awesome you are. We have no words to explain, to describe your greatness. Hallelujah. But we are so thankful that we have this opportunity with our limited vocabulary, hallelujah, to say we adore you, we worship you, we declare you are our great God, you are the source, you are the source of all living things, all creation, vows to you, the name Jesus, wonderful, and we're thankful that we have this great privilege, hallelujah, here in the USA, it's recognized Memorial Day where we remember and honor those who have served our country, served our nation. We thank you, Father. We praise you. We thank you for where you have planted us. You have uh, set the boundaries in which we live. We are grateful for the United States of America. And yet, Many times our heart grieves for what we see going on in our nation, in our government, among those who are in positions of leadership, the divisiveness, the, the loyalty to that that is ungodly. Father, and so we are on this campaign to pray for the USA, and we thank you for this privilege. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you. We know that when we pray, when the righteous cry, you hear and you answer. And so we thank you for intercessors all over America. We thank you, Father, for prayer warriors and those who are standing in the gap and believing you, standing on your word, believing that, knowing that you hear us when we pray. We are grateful. We dare not take for granted. Hallelujah great and mighty God. And so here we are on this Memorial Day. Hallelujah. Still believing you, trusting you, and knowing that prayer works, prayer changes things. Great and mighty God. So we come today saying thank you. Thank you for those who serve. Thank you for those who sacrifice their life. Thank you, Father. I pray for their families that are survivors and even in times of loss thank you that you give strength and you comfort because you're the God of all comfort you are the God of all comfort you see and you know and you you recognize those who are who are yours and we thank you father that we are able to say we are grateful for those who served our nation for those who sacrificed their lives I pray, Lord God, today that you will see those family members and comfort them as they uh, reflect and remember their loved ones who served, who sacrificed their lives for this country. I pray for their healing and those that just recently lost loved ones and are still mourning and grieving their loss. I pray, Father. You being the God of our comfort, that you would comfort them, that you would strengthen them, that you would give them peace, that there would be an inner calm, Father, that they can trust you and you are with them, you are near them. May they feel your presence. It's our prayer today as we uh, recognize this day as Memorial Day. And then, Father, as we continue to lift up uh, the states in the United States of America. Today we pray, Father, for New Jersey. We pray for New Jersey and for New Mexico, Father. We lift these states up to you. And as we have been praying throughout these times, we pray that your will will be done and your kingdom would come in the state of New Jersey in the state of New Mexico, Father. You see them, you know them, you know every intricate part of their being. We lift up the governor to you, the governor of New Jersey, 
Governor Phil Murphy. We lift him up to you, Lord, and all those that serve with him. Father, we pray for your will to be done as they structure things according to your godliness and your your plan and your will. Let them have ears to hear you, Father. Let there be a heart for righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are the governor of every nation. And may they recognize that they are servants of yours to serve your people. Father, we pray that your kingdom come and your will be done. That land is your land. Hallelujah. That land belongs to you. As the psalmist reminds us, everything belongs to you. Hallelujah. All things were created by you and for you. And there was nothing made that was made without you. You are the creator. Every land, every state, everything belongs to you. The world is yours, and they that dwell therein, the cattle on a thousand hills, belong to you. May this resonate in the minds and hearts of those in leadership in New Jersey. Every department, every agency, bring to their mind, Father, that you are the ultimate authority, that you are the one that sits on the throne, and your judgment is right. Your judgment is righteous, Father. Your ju- the, the foundation of your throne is righteousness and judgment and justice, Father. And I pray today for those in leadership responsibilities in New Jersey would recognize this. And not only in New Jersey, but in New Mexico, Father. We lift up the governor of New Mexico, Michelle Grisham, Lord. We lift her up to you and those who serve with her, those that have the responsibilities of governing and making the laws of these states, Father. We pray that they have a heart for the things of God, for godliness, for righteousness, for justice, Lord God. This is our prayer, that you reign, that they would declare that they are your servants, and they listen to your voice, and they govern according to your word, and what your word says, the Bible, righteousness and justice, we cannot ask this enough. We pray, Lord God, that their hearts and their minds are open to you, hallelujah, as servants of your great name, that they will bow down to you, that they will humble themselves before you, hallelujah, and allow you to lead them, to cause them to do things in righteousness according to your will and your purpose and your plan because your plan for every individual is good. But there are those who don't recognize this and so they continue to live lives according to their own thinking and their own way, their own lifestyle, which is in opposition to you. Anyone that is not living according to your word and your precepts and your standards, they are your enemies, oh God. And we pray today. Mm. Hallelujah. Let your enemies be scattered. Your enemies in New Jersey be scattered. Your enemies in New Mexico be scattered. This beautiful land, those those breathtaking beaches, hallelujah, in New Jersey, and those breathtaking uh, landscapes in New Mexico, Father, it is your land. Let your enemies be scattered. Mm. Let your name be exalted. Your name be glorified, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Your way. Your way. Yes, Lord. Let there be a yes in their, in the very depths of their soul. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Regardless, despite religious affiliations and despite political parties and their loyalties, Father, I pray today that they be loyal to you, your standards, your word, your will, your way. Yes, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, then we lift up those believers, those followers of Jesus Christ, the body of Christ, 
local assemblies, local churches in New Jersey, local churches and assemblies, hallelujah, in New Mexico, your believers there in those states, Father, we lift them up to you. Help them to realize who they are in Christ and the authority that you have given to them, that they can speak your word, they can rule and reign according to your will in those states in which you have placed them, Father. This is our prayer today. So we pray, let there be a spiritual awakening that's caused because of your people in New Jersey, your people in New Mexico. Let there be a spiritual awakening. Let there be revival that comes forth. Let there be a burden of newness and freshness. Let there be renewed hope for your people there in these states, Lord God. Even amongst the body of Christ, there are so many that are despondent because of what they see and the experiences and the challenges that they're facing, that they become discouraged. But we pray today for fresh courage. Yes, Lord. Fresh, fresh courage. Fresh courage. Yes, Lord. A newness of life. Remind them that you are with them and you have promised that you will never leave them nor forsake them. So those who are weary, we pray for fresh strength. Let there be a fresh out pour of your anointing, that there be revival that will revive their spirits, that will cause them to know that they belong to you and you are with them despite the challenges they're facing. Father, I pray on today for your goodness and your mercy to be revealed to them, for your greatness to be revealed to them. Open their eyes that they will see and know that you are for them and that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Father, raise them up a new generation hallelujah I pray father for the young adults in these states those that in in New Jersey and in New Mexico that this new generation will be a generation that will arise and declare Jesus is Lord hallelujah that they will not retreat but they will be bold witnesses for Jesus Christ I pray father this in the name of Jesus for New Jersey for New Mexico let their voice be raised lift up let them not be silent when it comes to the things of the kingdom. Birth in them a realization of who you are. Open their eyes that they will see without a sh and know without a shadow of a doubt that they are yours and that you reign and you rule. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory to God. Mm. I pray for fresh strength fresh courage for those, the seniors there that may be weary and because they see what's going on, Father, that they become weary. I pray for their strength. I pray, Father, and remind them that as long as there's breath in their body, you are not finished with them. Father, in the name of Jesus, awaken their spirits, their souls, that they will continue to cry out, that they will stand in the gap and they will pray and uplift those, the younger generation. Hallelujah. I pray for those mothers in Zion in New Mexico, in New Jersey. I pray, Father, for their strength. Remind them that they have what it takes, even in these last and evil days. Glory to God to make a positive impact, to be influences for the kingdom of God, for Jesus the Christ. I pray this, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way. Have your way in New Jersey. Hey, have your way in New Mexico. Hallelujah. Have your way, Father. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, have your way. Let your people arise. Hallelujah. Remind them that their light has come. They are the light of the world. They are the light. Hallelujah. That shine forth in New Jersey. They are the light that shine forth in New Mexico. Remind them they are the salt of the earth there. They are the salt of the earth in New Jersey. They are the salt of the earth in New Mexico. Glory to God, and if you are with them, who can be against them? Cause them to rise up and fight, hallelujah, the good fight of faith, that they can war in the realm of the spirit, that they can call down heaven, hallelujah, to invade their land in New Jersey, to invade their land in New Mexico, and set right what is wrong. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, expose corruption, yea God, expose corruption in high places, we Wickedness in high places. Father, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. There where Atlantic City could 
casinos rule and reign and have dominion where there are principalities in these regions. Father, let your people arise, glory to God, and declare the Lord Jesus Christ rule and he reign. Expose the corruption. Expose the hidden agendas. Expose everything that's not like you and let righteousness prevail. Let godliness prevail. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, O God. We thank you for ruling and reigning. We thank you, Father, that hearts are open. We pray let salvation come. Let deliverance come in the mighty name of Jesus. Let deliverance come in New Jersey. Let deliverance come in New Mexico. Let salvation come in New Jersey. Let salvation come in New Mexico. Sin revival, oh God. Let your angels be dispatched in the mighty name of Jesus to war against that that is your enemies, that that is in opposition to your will and your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be, hallelujah, a spiritual awakening that takes place. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Glory to God. We thank you, Father. We lift up those families there. Families, oh God. Families in New Jersey, families in New Mexico. Father, you see the conditions. You know where they are. You see them. You know every need. You know every concern. You know where they're weak and torn down. You know where they're feeling hopeless. You see where they're feeling helpless. I pray today that you be their source. May their hearts be open to know that it is you. It is their hope in you that they need. It is you are the answer. Jesus Christ is the answer answer. In him they live, move, and have their being. May they realize who they are in Christ, and may they come running, wanting to know what must I do to be saved when the people of God there proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. They will want to know more about him. They will want to come into the knowledge of him. They will want to be adopted into the family of God. They will want to become citizens of the kingdom of God. We we pray, O oh God, that you would translate them, transfer them from the power of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the light of your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. We thank you, O oh God, for revival. We thank you for a turning in New Jersey. We thank you for revival and a turning in New Mexico. And let it begin with your people as we pray, O oh God. Let your people arise and shine forth. Let them be the carriers of your light. Let them be the burden bearers that will intercede, that will stand in the gap for their states, for their communities, for their cities, Father. We lift up every mayor in every city in New Jersey. We lift up the names you know them name by name. We lift them up to you, the mayors, Father, in New Mexico. Every person in any leadership capacity, spiritually and civic, naturally so. Those that in government, we continue to pray for them. In the mighty name of Jesus, that your will be done, that your kingdom come, that lives are changed. Let transformation take place, and it begins with the renewing of the mind. We pray for a renewing of the minds of the residents. We pray for renewing of the minds of the citizens in every state in New Jersey, every state, every city in New Jersey, every city in New Mexico. We pray for the renewing of the minds, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, so that people's eyes will be open and ears will be open to hear the proclamation of the gospel, that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world, that Jesus Christ is the light of the world, and as his body of believers in these states, in the state of New Jersey and in the state of New Mexico, rise and shine and show forth the light of Jesus Christ and the love of Jesus Christ. We pray that love be shed abroad from heart to heart. Let there be a compassion. Let there be a mercifulness that is exemplified throughout these states in every city, Father. As your people arise, we intercede today. Hallelujah. And we stand in the gap today for the people in New Jersey, for the people in New Mexico, that you would have your way, that yes will be their declaration. Yes, Lord, hallelujah.
hallelujah, would be that declaration. We want to be saved. We want to know this Jesus. We want to be in the kingdom of God. This is our prayer on today, oh God. We thank you that you hear us when we pray. We thank you that you answer us when we call out to you, when we cry out to you. You hear and you answer. We thank you that your ear is inclined to hear your people. We thank you that you have said, ask and we shall receive, seek and we shall find, knock and the door shall be open. Hallelujah. Let this be the declaration in these states uh, that they're asking. Hallelujah. They're asking for you. They're asking for more of you. They're asking, Father. They're praying and they're believing. They're seeking glory to God. And you are answering and you and they are finding what they need. We thank you that they are knocking. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. We bless you. We thank you for what you're doing in New Jersey, even as we pray. We thank you that even now hearts and minds are being turned. You are drawing on them. You are seeking them out. You are pursuing them. Even the body of believers that have drifted away, even the backsliders that have turned away from you, we thank you for drawing them. We thank you for renewing their mind. We thank you for renewing their hope. We thank you for fresh courage. We thank you that their eyes are open to see and to know. There is no way they know where they can turn but to you so we call them back home your loving kindness you love the backslider hallelujah so we call them back to you we call them back to you hallelujah to come home to get renewed and to be revived and to be about their father's business we pray for every spiritual leader we lift up apostles to you we lift up prophets to you we lift up evangelists to you. We lift up pastors and teachers, those who are called and chosen to share your word, to proclaim the good news, to build up, to edify your body of believers for the perfect work of ministry, for the edification of your body. We pray, Father, for their physical strength. We pray, Lord God, for their physical strength, for their emotional well-being. We pray, Lord God, for their mental stability, those things that are and heavy on their minds and their hearts. We pray for a lifting of the burdens. We pray, oh God, that they will turn to you because you have said, come to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I pray for the rest of those you have positioned as spiritual leaders. I pray, Father, for their renewed strength. I pray, Father, for physical strength. I pray, Lord God, for healing in their physical bodies. I pray for emotional well-being, that they will not grow weary in doing what is right, but remind them that in due season, Hallelujah, they shall reap if they faint not. So we come against the spirit of giving up. We come against the spirit of fainting and throwing in the towel. We come against anxiety and worry. We come against those that are fretting because of evildoers who seem to prosper in their own way. But we pray today, Father, have your way. Yes, Lord, have your way. Have your way. Move by your spirit in New Jersey. Move by your spirit in New Mexico. Hallelujah. We give you glory today. We give you praise today. We bless you, oh God, for doing only what you can do. Man cannot do what needs to be done, even though they're in governing positions. But it is you, oh God. It is your work. You perform your good work. Hallelujah. Your plans are good. Hallelujah. And we pray today, have your way, 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 oh God, move by your spirit. Yay, glory to God today, move by your spirit. Yes, Lord, all over this land, hallelujah, all over this nation, spread the word of God. Let the proclamation
preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, penetrate the very core of men's hearts and minds, uh, women's hearts and minds, uh, children's hearts and minds, uh, all over this nation today, uh, all over this nation today, uh, we expand. Oh, shake, Kokasa, we expand. You know, Koya, those that we've already prayed for, uh, we pray, Father, for a fresh anointing uh, all over this land. Uh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, uh, even though we're lifting up specifically New Jersey and New Mexico, but I hear the cry of the Lord. I hear the spirit of the living God. Say, let there be a fresh courage. Let there be a fresh courage, a fresh fire, a consuming fire all over this nation. Yes, Lord. Go Yes, Lord. Have your way, your way, your way, your way. Yes, Lord, your way. Let it be a resounding echo that hits the hearts and minds of people. Let there be a, a sound, oh God, that go out of the airways, that go out of the stratosphere, the hemisphere. Uh, yes, Lord, I need Jesus. I need Jesus. I want Jesus. Yes, Lord, I need Jesus. Jesus is my hope. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the life. I want Jesus because there is no way. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, my men might be saved except the name of Jesus. Let there be a crowd today. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Jesus, yes, Lord, 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 Jesus, Jesus, have your way, yes, Lord, move by your spirit, things were created for you and by you, for your purpose, have your way, Oh, as your people yield, as your people stand in the gap, oh God, yes, Lord, hallelujah. As your people stand in the gap, you hear, hallelujah, you answer, and you move according to your spirit. And this is the confidence that we have in you. And if we ask anything according to your will, you hear us. And we know that if you hear us, hallelujah, we have the petition granted that we desire of you. So we thank you, Father. Yes, Lord, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for hearing. We thank you for answering. We thank you for moving. We thank you for saving. We thank you for delivering. Oh, God, those that are down, those that are feeling hopeless, we thank you, Father, for lifting up the burden. We thank you, Father. Help them to look to the hills from which come their help. Their help is from you. Your name is a very pleasant help in a time of trouble. It is your name, Jesus. Your name is power. There's power in your name. We thank you for the name attorney that we have. We thank you for the power of attorney that we have in the name of Jesus. Jesus, our soon coming King. Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, oh God. Yes, Lord. We thank you. Glory to God. We thank you. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you that you hear us. We thank you. Glory to God. We thank you. We thank you, Father, that your ears inclined to hear us. The righteous cry. Hallelujah. The righteous cry. We cry. Today, yes, Lord. We cry today. We cry today. Specifically for New Jersey and New Mexico. Hallelujah. But there's a crowd. Hallelujah across this nation. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Our faith is in you. Our trust is in you. 
In God we trust. Hallelujah. Let it just not be a slogan on our currency and coin. Let it be a reality. Let it be a heart cry. In God we trust. In God we trust. We trust you. We bless you. We thank you. We honor you. We go free in you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 We thank you for the spirit of intercession through the spirit of truth. The Holy Ghost make intercession for us. Thank you for those that were here to replay, those that were 
that have joined on today. Hallelujah. Those that have dialed in, I thank you, Father, that you see them. You know every concern, yes, Lord, every need, every petition, every every request. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you that you hear them. Thank you, Father, that you bless them, their lives. Thank you that they're whole, yes, Lord. Thank you that they're healed, they're whole, yes, Lord. Thank you. Lacking nothing, nothing broken, nothing missing. They're whole, hallelujah. They're well. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. They're calm in their spirit. Thank you for inner peace, despite what challenges they may be facing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you for your presence. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 